Hello everyone. Today we are going to see an interesting prose. The title of the prose is Tech Bloomers. Tech is the short form of technology. Bloomers is it helps the people to bloom in their life. That's why it's a merging of tech and bloomers. This is the today's topic. Students, before entering into the lesson, I'm going to show you some memes. The first one is the boy is running and going in a rain, but he is not getting wet. Can you answer me why? Yes, that's right. He is using anti-rain app. In future, it might also come in your smartphones and you will not get wet. And the second meme you are looking at is there was a Wi-Fi signal and the grandpa is telling that is that a rainbow and the kid is replying no grandpa it's a Wi-Fi signal everywhere in our town and cities you can browse using that GPS that will be the future days you can hope and being students you will have always think of that we should reduce the book weight you will be taking lot of books and imagine those days where your bags will be flying with you and you don't want to carry those books that will be the future i think and those are wireless bags which will fly have you ever imagined like this if it is like that we will be very happy not carrying all the luggages books etc so next in future you will not ask any property from your parents but you will ask your parents to share their wi-fi maybe to attend your online classes or to watch videos educational videos and other things these are some of the memes which will help you enjoy keep smiling and keep thinking with these memes students now i'm going to show you some objects in the pictures so the first image is this you are looking into a gaming device right the second image is tablets which are the shorter version of laptops and the third image is about smartwatch do you know how does your smartwatch help you it is your health and dietitian i would say because it reminds you always to take water every half an hour or one hour however you feed that and it will also count the steps how much steps do you run that will also be counted by your smartwatch your calls can be attended through smartwatch you can message anyone and the fourth image is digital dictionary have you ever used it buy it and you can refer either cambridge or oxford university dictionaries from your digital dictionary type the words you will get the explanation as well as the examples the next one is ebook reader these are most of the gadgets we are not aware of and we are not using it every day but i could suggest you students to make prompt use of these to develop your knowledge and to enrich yourself this lesson talks about the use of technology not only by a normal person but in empowering the disabled to do their day to day course of life and it will also help them to travel to communicate to learn to do business and to live in comfort so the technology is boon for both the normal person as well as 
especially for the disabled. Now, Alisha and David's life has changed with the use of technology. Technology impacts the environment, people and the society as a whole. The way we use technology determines if its impacts are positive to the society or negative. It is left you to decide. Students, now I am going to say some examples which will really make you to impress as well as you will astonish hearing all this. Have you ever thought that your refrigerator can order stuff on its own? Well, anything which is below a predefined limit or below certain threshold can be self-ordered by the appliance. Your refrigerator can directly link to the e-commerce site and order for milk if it is about to be exhausted. Now let me explain this. Have you ever thought that your refrigerator can order stuff on its own? Yes, it's true. If your milk gets reduced and your fridge will automatically order to your shop and that will be filled. That's so great, right? And if your other groceries are down, you can order it. Automatically, your fridge does that for you. Then, consumable products such as ink cartridges may be capable of self-ordering replacements when the current level falls below a certain threshold. So let me explain this. You might be aware that consumable products such as ink cartridges in printer if the cartridge is reduced it will automatically order that to replace the cartridge and according to the level of the inks when it falls down it will automatically send an email to the provider and it fills the inks and this is how nowadays happen have you ever wished you were better informed managing entertainment and home appliances by voice commands or by swapping the finger is a reality now getting bored by the program you watch on tv just tell your smart tv that you want to view your social feed instead students let me explain this most tvs are nowadays smart tvs right if you don't want to watch some boring programs, you can order the Smart TV, Commands TV and change that channel. So I wanted to see an aquarium now. So it does for you. If you are stuck in a traffic jam, just let your kettle make some tea for you, which you can sip, pipping hot the moment you reach home your entire water and energy management can be taken care by automating all the activities students let me explain this imagine that when you are coming back from your school or any other place and you are going to order your kettle to make coffee or tea for you and when you order the kettle and when you come back home your tea or coffee is ready for you and this will reduce the labor of cooking that's really amazing when we get this kind of opportunities Technology has not only made a normal person's life easier, but it is also a boon to citizens with special needs. So, there are lots of innovations 
which are coming up to make people with some sort of disability to make them lead a comfortable life students now can you tell me how many people in our country are affected with this can you guess at least so india is home to 2.7 crore people living with one or the other kind of disability this is the old census according to the 2011 census 2.21 percent of india's population is disabled so students it's our duty to help them in their day to day life unlike the developed world india's disabled are deprived by attitudinal barriers as they continue to grapple with the challenges of access acceptance and inclusion here grapple means to fight especially in order to win something inclusion means the act of including someone or something now we are going to start with alicia's life how technology had made an impact in alicia's life alicia says i would probably still have done it because i want everyone to know the difference technology has made in my life but i would have been frustrating and difficult i have cerebral palsy and i can't physically type as fast as i think or anywhere near but right now that's what i'm doing i bet you are wondering how so students here we have to know what is mean by cerebral palsy cerebral palsy means permanent tightening of the muscles caused by damage to the brain so alicia is a disabled girl who suffers from cerebral palsy she wanted to be different in spite of her disability so what was her disability she couldn't type as fast as she thinks so what is cerebral palsy cerebral palsy is a group of disorders that affect a person's ability to move and maintain balance and posture i am using a piece of technology called dragon dictate i speak and the words appear on my screen and then i can print them out it's made a huge difference to me it's made me achieve things i only dreamt of here you have to know what is mean by dragon dictate dragon dictate means a software which recognizes speech and converts it to text so alisha she has trouble with typing so she uses an advanced technology called dragon dictate dragon dictate means it is a software which helps to transfer speech into words on the screen students do you know our former president apj abdul kalam was concerned about people with disability and along with his team developed lightweight prosthetics from space age material to enable disabled children to walk easily i used to have a teacher she is passed away now and one day she said to me you are going to do your max gcse which means general certificate of secondary education i said no i am not don't be silly i didn't think i could do anything like that studying was so difficult because i had to rely on 
someone to type everything into a computer for me but that's changed now i can do it myself with my voice kim who's the assistive technologist at my school introduced me to dragon dictate and it has opened up the world to me here you have to know what is mean by assistive technology assistive technology is any device software or equipment that helps people work around their challenges some examples of assistive technology are text to speech and word prediction next you have to know what is mean by assistive technologist assistive technologist means a person who assist with technological gadgets to overcome disability alicia speaks and the words appear on her screen and then she can print them studying was difficult to her because she had to rely on someone to type everything into a computer for her but now kim helped her to train dragon dictate understand her voice so alicia is liberated through dragon dictate kim assistive technologist introduced it to her kim showed me how to train it to understand my voice it took a few hours now i use it in class and at home as well it has made me more independent i am now able to study on my own so now i am doing my max gcse i know my teacher will be proud of me let me explain this alisha uses dragon dictate in school and at home it has made her more independent and study on her own she started to take max gc se now she knows her teacher will be proud of her i never thought i could be able to do one gc se in my life but i am going to do two and i feel like i want to push myself even further kim says technology can help me do that it is opening up the world for young disabled people like me there are many different types of technology that can help a young disabled person become independent for example if someone has very limited movement they can control a computer screen with eye gaze that means when they are reading they can move from page to page using the pupils of their eyes they don't need to press a button or anything here gaze means stare at something for a long time so let me explain this so there are many different types of technology that can help a young disabled person become independent if someone has very limited movement they can control a computer screen with eye gaze when they read they can move from page to page using the pupils of their eyes they don't need to press a button or anything just one person kim works with all 42 students here at my school and helps us use technology in different ways she is amazing i don't know what we would do without her we would lose out on so many opportunities it has opened up the world to me so not only to the alisha it had opened up 
the world to all the 42 students whom Kim was working. So through this, Alicia feels that technology has made her more independent. 21 year old David says, Technology is very important because it enables me to communicate and be independent which gives me freedom. So, for 21 year old David, technology is very important because it enables him to communicate and be independent and gives freedom. For verbal communication, David uses a liberator communication device which he controls with his eye movements. It has a Bluetooth adapter, so it lets him use any PC or Mac by sending commands through the liberator. Here you have to know what is mean by liberator communication device which means a special device used to communicate with eye movements. It was a great feeling when I learned to use it. It took me a couple of weeks. Communicating with people was very difficult before. He has an ACTIV controller also in the headrest of his chair in his bedroom which means he can control his TV, Blu-ray and music players. So for verbal communication David uses a liberated communication device which he controls with his eye movements. It has a Bluetooth adapter so it lets him use any PC or Mac by sending commands through the liberator. Initially, it was difficult for a couple of weeks to communicate with people. David was born with arthritis cerebral palsy and attends a specialist school and college. He has been using a high tech communication aid since he was 8 years old and has been interested in AAC which means augmentative and alternative communication and technology ever since. When David first started out with AAC, he used a head switch to access his AAC device running a page based system which took lots of navigation and required a lot of effort combined with switching. He now uses an ECO2 with ECO point, making his selections with a foot switch. Once he has fixed his gaze on the icon that is required, he has a smaller communication aid. It has been mounted on his walker. It is essential that much of his spare time is spent in the performing arts. David is also a keen sportsman, regularly playing football, bocha, hockey and baseball. He is a sports leader and uses his ECO2 linked to an interactive whiteboard to teach P lessons. So, it was somewhat difficult for him with AAC, but he had switched to next generation application that is, he is using now ECO2 and ECO point. So, David is concentrating on studies as well as with the sports. He is concentrating on four games. So what are they? Football, Boxia, Hockey and Baseball. David has 144 icons on the screen that he uses with 
ECO point I guess. When David first tried this assess method, his response was, I like it. It makes me faster. When can I have one? Now David uses his ECO2 and ECO point to access the curriculum, study for his GCSE, order food and communicate while he is in restaurants and argue with his brother, you name it, David can communicate it. So, David has 144 icons on the screen that he uses with ECO point, I guess. He uses it access curriculum, study for us, GCSE, order food and communicate while he is in restaurants and argue with his brother. David will now use his ECO2 to speak in complete sentences with correct syntax. It has increased the number of words he uses meaningfully and command socially using the language of his peers thereby becoming a confident and competent communicator. David has recently been working on idioms with his SLT, his latest being. Mum has got a lot on her plate. David is also an advocate to other students who use AAC and shows them how easy it is to communicate using the AC method. So then, David uses ECO2 to speak in complete sentences with correct syntax. David has become confident and competent communicator. So then, David has also become an advocate to other students who use AAC and shows them how easy it is to communicate using the AC method. He controls his PlayStation with a bespoke switch system, drives his electric wheelchair with head switches and uses the ECO point I guess system to communicate, access the computer to check on how the Chelsea football team is doing and send and receive text messages. When he is at home, he also plays mp3 on his ECO2 from morning till night. David has recently been selected to travel to Brazil to work with the Olympic opening ceremony team as part of the remix drama group. Now we are going to see Indian innovations. First one is Lachel Shoes by Crispian Lawrence. This GPS and Bluetooth enabled shoes help the disabled navigate steeds based on instructions from map software on smartphone. The app also records route and counts steps. Here you can see the picture of Lachel shoes. Blee watch by industrial designers Nipura Kirloskar and Janhavi Joshi of Mumbai. This smartwatch for the hearing impact converts sound waves into vibrations and color codes to alert users to emergency sounds and ringing doorbells. It even helps them feel the rhythm of music. Next, let's see about iGEST by Anil Prabhagar, IIT M professor and co-founder of Enability Technologies. 
This wearable device tracks gestures of speech impaired people and speaks for them. I just is a wearable gesture to speech device. It tracks the gestures of the speech impaired people and speaks for them. This helps people with speech disorder like cerebral palsy, cluttering, etc. I guess technology makes your life easier. Maybe it means you can keep in touch with your family, you can talk to and even see relatives who live far away. Well, Kim has shown me that technology can do even more for young disabled people like me. It can help us make friends, communicate and control our environment like turning the lights on and out. It can help us study, get qualifications and find opportunities for work. It can make us confident and independent. So, technology makes life easier. It helps one keep in touch with family. Technology can even help young disabled people. Next, we are going to learn about world-renowned physicist Stephen Hawking is probably the best example of how assistive technology has helped a talented mind overcome physical impairments and contribute productively to the world. So let me explain this. Stephen Hawking lost his power of speech as the result of nervous disease at the age of 26 but he became a renowned physicist and was successful only because of assistive technology. So, we can now look forward to a more inclusive way of learning instead of the cloistered existence that most differently abled learners had to face in the past Newer technology allows differently abled learners to learn with their peers as well as contribute fruitfully to the collaborative process of learning. This is indeed the new era of learning, truly learning for all. Here, cluster means enclosed by Collaborative process means produced by or involving two or more parties working together. So, we can now look forward to a more inclusive way of learning instead of the cloistered existence. Here, cloister means closed level. So, our mind have to open up. We need to include them in our existence that most differently abled learners had to face in the past then technology allows differently abled learners with their peers as well as contribute fruitfully to the collaborative process of learning here we have to know what is mean by collaborative process so, collaborative process means produced by or involving two or more parties working together. So, as a whole, this is indeed the new era of learning, truly learning for all. So, thus, technology can help people like Alicia and David to make friends control their environment, study and find jobs. So really technology is a boon to the disabled. Students, now we are going to see summary of the pros tech bloomers. First let's see introduction part. 
technology has been registering an unbelievable growth in the recent decades it has enabled the disabled co perform their day to day activities just like a normal person next let's see about alisha's life alisha is a disabled girl who suffers from cerebral palsy she has trouble with typing so she uses an advanced technology called dragon dictate a software which helps to transfer her speech into words on the screen alisha feels that technology has made her more independent next we are going to see about david's life david was born with atetoid cerebral palsy he has been using a high tech communication aid since he was 8 years old modern technologies such as the liberator communication device activ controller aac and eco2 have enabled him not only to communicate freely but also to control his environment technology has helped him so much that he was even selected to work with the olympic opening ceremony in brazil according to david technology is important since it enables him to communicate and be independent next we are going to learn about stephen hawking world's renowned physicist stephen hawking is the best example for using assistive technology as a boon it helped him to overcome his physical impairments and assisted him to contribute to the world productively finally we are going to see conclusion part thus technology can help people like alisha and david to make friends control their environment study and find jobs really technology is a boon to the disabled students i hope you all understood the lesson well thank you students we will meet in the next class